Good day everyone! I'm here to talk about the Body Mass Index or BMI. I'll give you an idea about BMI by defining body composition. Body composition is the body's relative amount of fat to fat-free mass. And also, it is a method of breaking down the body into its core components. These are the components that I'm talking about. We are made of these four components, protein, minerals, body fat mass, and last one is body water. All in all, it describes your weight more accurately and provides a better glimpse into your overall health than traditional methods. So, body mass index or BMI measures the body fat based on height and weight that applies to adult men and women. To identify our BMI, we need to use this formula. BMI is equals to weight. Always remember that we need to use the unit of kilogram for weight. And the weight that we are talking about here is the heaviness or lightness of a person. So, weight over height squared, meaning we need to multiply twice the height. So, for height, we need to use here the unit of meters. And height is about the tallness and shortness of a person. The common way of getting the height of a person is by using tape measure. And the unit that is being used is centimeter. But in the formula, the height should be in meters. Don't worry. We have ways of converting the centimeters to meters. For example, 143 centimeter. How will we convert this into meters? We have 143 centimeters is equals to 1 meter over 100 centimeter. We need to multiply 143 centimeter and 1 meter. So, 143 centimeter times 1 meter is equals to 143 meter slash centimeter. So, where we got this meter slash centimeter? We just need to copy the units such as meter and centimeter. Now, 143 meters slash centimeter over 100 centimeter. For the next step is, we need to cancel the same unit here. The same unit here is the centimeters. We just need to divide this two. 143 divided by 100. What will be the answer? Very good. That is 1.43 meter. But we have a shortest way to convert centimeters to meters by simply placing two decimal points from the farthest right of a number. Example, we have 150 centimeter. The farthest right of a number of 150 centimeter is zero. Starting zero, we need to count two decimal points here, going to the left. So, one, two. The two decimal points will be here, between 1 and 5. So, 150 centimeter will become 1.50 meter. Another example, we have 106 centimeter. Same procedure like in first example. So, the farthest right of a number here is 6. Starting from 6, we need to count two decimal points here, going to the left. 1, 2. So the two decimal points will be here, between 1 and 0. So 106 centimeter will become 1.06 meter. Using the formula, we need to identify the weight of Sincha. The weight of Sincha is 66 kilogram. Next is, we need to find 
what is the height of Sincha? So, according to the info, the height of Sincha is 163 centimeter. But, the formula here states that the height should be in meters. So, we need to convert 163 centimeter to meters. Let's use the fastest way of converting centimeter to meter by adding two decimal points from the farthest right number. So, let's count from here. 1, 2. Now, 163 centimeter will become 1.63 meter. And we need to add this number here. So, BMI is equals to 66 kilogram over 1.63 meter squared. Next step is we need to multiply twice the height. So, 1.63 meter times 1.63 meter. The answer will be 2.6569 meter. Always remember that we need to round off the numbers at least two decimal points to shorten the answer. Next step is we will dividing 66 kilogram to 2.66 meter. So, 66 kilogram divided by 2.66 meter. The answer will be looks like this. As what I have told you a while ago, you need to round off the numbers at least 2 to 2 decimal points. So, the final answer here is 24.81. Meaning, the BMI of Sincha is 24.81. Now, let's find the classification of the BMI of Sincha. Since Sincha's BMI is 24.81, we need to find the 2481 here. So, it will fall here between the numbers of 18.6 to 24.9. So, the interpretation of the BMI of Sincha is normal, meaning she needs to maintain her healthy figure. You need to try this to see if you learned something from me. Here is the first problem. You have at least one minute to solve this. Timer starts now. What is the final answer? Nice try! The BMI is 25.64. But how we got this BMI? Let's review. Based on the formula, we need to find the weight, which is 60 kg. Next is, we need to find the height, which is 1.53 meters. And don't forget, to put this number here. Next step is, we need to multiply twice the height. So, 1.53 meters times 1.53 meters. The answer will be 2.3409 meter. Do we need to round this off? Yes, we need to round this off 
to shorten the answer. So, 2.3409 meter will become 2.34 meter. Now, let's divide 60 kilograms to 2.34 meter. The answer will be looks like this. But, to shorten the answer, we need to round this off. So, the final answer will become 25.64. Then, the classification of this BMI is overweight. Meaning, this person needs to change his or her lifestyle. Like eating healthy foods, regular exercise, and sleeping early as possible. Do you want to be exempted in selected physical fitness test? If so, you need to answer this one and PM the picture of your answer with solution to your subject teacher. If your answer is correct, you will be exempted in selected physical fitness test.